The film kicks off with a dazzling montage that screams glamour. We see men and women, young and old, all bewitched by the sparkling allure of famous models on TV and magazine covers. They're all dreaming of achieving that same hypnotic beauty, completely unaware of the shadows lurking behind the modeling industry's shiny facade. In the thick of this beauty frenzy, we meet Lilo. Ah, Lilo, a beauty icon in Japan. Her charm seems as effortless as it is breathtaking. But here's the twist. Beneath that flawless exterior lies a secret. Extensive surgeries have sculpted her into the idol she is today. Yet, despite the envy she inspires and the glam life she leads, Lilo is tangled in her own web of discontent. She knows all too well that beauty fades, and with time, a younger, fresher face will take her spotlight. Struggling with the harsh reality of being replaceable, Lilo finds herself at a crossroads, grappling with a future that looks just as uncertain as it is inevitable. Meet Mr. Assad, the sharp-eyed detective who pours over snaps of the famed Lilo. While musing on how stardom nibbles away at the soul, he shares a chuckle with his partner about how every high school girl wants that Lilo look. But hold on, he's quick to point out that sparkling on the surface doesn't mean shining inside. Beauty isn't a free pass to happiness, he insists, turning their chat from glossy to gritty in a heartbeat. Switching gears, his partner probes about a clinic, their faces grim as they glance over ghastly photos of women covered in bruises. Any new dirt on that shady operation, she wonders. With a nod, Mr. Assad drops the bomb, this isn't just any clinic, it's a hotspot for heinous crimes like tax evasion and, wait for it, trafficking children's organs and drugs. Cue the shift to Lilo, amidst it all, unknowing and unnerved. Imagine this. At her debut movie press conference, Lilo is all smiles next to her co-star, gushing about their newfound BFF status. But hold on to your hats, because the very next day, the drama unfolds. Lilo spots a magazine cover featuring both of them, and ooh, the tables turn. Off camera, her smile flips to fury, revealing a diva in the wild. Behind the scenes, poor Han, her assistant, bears the brilliance of her temper over the silliest things. Picture this. Lilo spitting out water like a dramatic fountain because, surprise, it's too cold. And there's Kenji, the ever-patient makeup artist, navigating her stormy seas just to keep his gig. Enter Nanu, her boyfriend, striding in like a knight with a bouquet big enough to hide behind. As soon as he appears, the staff scatter, leaving the lovebirds to their, ahem, privacy in the dressing room. Later that night, Lilo's ambition takes a scandalous turn as she cozies up to a producer. Dreams of magazine covers dancing in her head might just come true. And as he leaves, she's already onto her next grand plan. Oh, the drama unfolds in Lilo's world. So, get this, she calls her manager, Mama, right? Well, Mama is not just any manager, she's the puppet master behind Lilo's career. And here comes the juicy part, after following Mama's questionable advice and cozying up to a producer, Lilo stumbles upon a horrifying discovery, a ghastly bruise smack on her forehead. Plot thickens when Kenji, the loyal informant, spills the beans to Mama. And what does Mama do? She explains it all away as a side effect of Lilo's plastic surgery. Wait for it, almost everything about Lilo's beauty is, you guessed it, manufactured. But wait, there's more. Mama, ever the manipulator, slips Kenji a shiny ruby ring to seal his lips. Shush. And that's not all, she wants him to stand by Lilo through thick and thin. Wow, what a roller coaster of secrets and lies. After a nerve-wracking visit to the beauty clinic with her mom, Lilo hoped to address her scarring issues but was caught off guard by a drama that unfolded right before her eyes. A bruised woman, screaming her lungs out, pinned the blame on the clinic for her disfigured face, creating a spectacle as the staff scrambled to calm the storm. Meanwhile, the doctor nonchalantly faults the distressed woman for skipping her essential beauty routines. Amidst the chaos, Lilo's mom, unfazed, nudges the doctor for a stronger prescription, and Lilo, albeit reluctantly, signs up for another round under the knife. Switching to a more somber scene. Mr. Oida and his team pore over a photograph of the recently deceased model, Megumi, piecing together clues that hint at a fatal negligence by the very same beauty clinic following her cosmetic procedure. Plot twist. Megumi's ex, who just happens to be a doctor, might be tangled up in this beauty clinic blunder to boot. Buckle up folks, because things are about to get seriously shady. Dr. Oa, in a not-so-hush-hush -hush scandal, colludes with the clinic's director to nab organs, skin, and muscles for some risky beauty magic. And the catch? Patients need to pop immortal amounts of drugs to dodge death post-op. Talk about high-stakes beauty regimes. Meanwhile, Lilo is hitting stardom like a meteor on steroids. Gracing your screens and magazine covers, she turns everything she touches into sold-out gold. Beauty icon by day, nightmare boss by night, 
Lilo's fame balloon inflates as fast as her ego, pushing her down a spiral of selfish antics. One boozy night, our starlet stumbles home, leaving poor had to clean up the glittery mess. Oh, the price of fame. Picture this. Lilo, a dazzling star, perched in front of her mirror, reflecting on the throng of fans smitten by her glamorous facade. Oh, the irony. They're enchanted by an image, clueless about the real Lilo behind the sparkle. Amidst the glitz, she spots more bruises on her face and, panic stations, fears her fading beauty might dim her stardom's bright lights. Caught in a whirlwind of fear and anger, she vents about the cruel, fleeting nature of fame. Will they still love me when I'm not picture perfect? She laments. Had, ever the loyal assistant, steps in to soothe her, but Lilo, in a twist, rebuffs the comfort and turns up the charm. A moment of flirtation escalates, and a kiss seals a night of misguided decisions. Come morning, as the reality of their actions sets in, Mama enters, oblivious to the drama that unfolded. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive, and all that jazz. In her office when a young schoolgirl visits her unexpectedly she claims that she wants to see her sister Lilo which leaves Mama surprised later on Lilo comes across a letter from her younger sister Chakong in the letter she explains that she had come to Tokyo on a school trip and wanted to connect with Lilo Chicago managed to obtain her contract info and finally reached out after all these years Lilo is deeply affected by the letter from her sister possibly because it stirred memories of the person she used to be before being famous with Ha's help the two sisters finally reunite and are overjoyed to see each other Chicago then praises Lilo for her recent accomplishments and projects Lilo suddenly encourages her sister to also prioritize her own well-being and enhance her appearance Chicago then admits she doesn't have the same level of courage as Lilo Lilo tries to reassure her that beauty brings strength and confidence in people. Back at the clinic, Lilo is in the chair again, getting another facelift. It's just her standard beauty tune-up. Later, she's at an event, soaking up the adoration from her fans. During an interview, when quizzed about her beauty secrets, she plays it cool, crediting yoga and Pilates. Watching this from home, Mr. Oa can't help but remark that Lilo just can't help bending over backwards to please everyone, even if it means losing herself. That's it, he's decided, it's time for a visit. Post-event, Lilo's curiosity strikes. She quizzes Mama about whether she's been sending cash back home to her family. Unconvinced by Mama's assurances, she pushes until Mama confesses. Most of the money's being blown to keep Lilo looking fabulous. Mama lays it on thick, reminding Lilo of her rags to riches backstory and telling her to be thankful. And just when you think the drama can't get thicker, enter the fresh-faced model, ready to stir up the scene. Imagine this, K. Lilo, once the darling of the modeling world, is watching her spotlight dim. Enter Quay, overnight, she becomes the industry's new star, dazzling fans and stealing hearts left and right. And who's there to see it all? Yep, Lilo, grinning through gritted teeth. As they strut and pose together in ads and shoots, Lilo's star fades while Quay's only gets brighter. Q, green-eyed monster of jealousy. All this drama takes a toll on Lilo, who starts leaning on sedatives to cope. Oh, and the icing on this bitter cake? Her boyfriend, Nanu, is now. Well, imagine the drama when Lilo, feeling scorned and undervalued, crashes into Ha's apartment only to find her beau, Sheen. Without missing a beat, she turns on the charm and casually pops the question, mind if I steal a kiss? Sheen, smitten and totally on board, doesn't even blink before diving in for some lip action, and poor Ha can't do a thing but watch the heartbreak unfold right before her eyes. Fast forward, and things take a dark twist. Under Lilo's sly influence, Ha and Sheen play the villains at a high-stakes facial makeover, with Acid, no less, targeting Nano's fiancé. Ouch. They hightail out of there, but the plot thickens when Lilo reels them back in, whispering promises of secrecy in their ears. Talk about a night of twisted loyalties and wild escapades. Just when you thought things couldn't get spicier, wait till you hear what went down next. So, Kinchen is working his magic on Lilo's hair, right? And boom, he spots these mysterious scars on her back. Rather than stirring the pot, he quietly slips the info to Mama, who shockingly barely bats an eye. Hum, signals a storm brewing or what? Fast forward to evening, Lilo's cozying up in a hotel with Nano, throwing curveballs about his future misses. Nano, smooth as ever, dodges and declares his undying love for just her. Talk about drama. Meanwhile, Mr. O.A. is on a mission. He busts into Lilo's workplace, tossing around nicknames like Tiger Lily. Dude straight out of a detective novel, pressing her to spill the beans on the sketchy beauty clinic. But Lilo, she's having none of it, shuts down the Tiger Lily talk and the accusations. Plot twist, Mr. O.A. isn't just throwing wild guesses, he's got the dirt on her. What a whirlwind tale of suspense and shadows. Here we have Lilo, tangled in a sinister web involving an acid attack. Despite her denials, the evidence is stacking up against her. A nosy witness even snagged her van's number plate during the mayhem. A mysterious informant slides over a dossier brimming with dirt, 
not just on the nefarious beauty clinic, but on Lilo's own dark secrets too. Quite the twist, eh? Back at her lair. Dot air, home, Lilo rifles through the scandalous file. Oh, the clinic's skeletons come tumbling out. But wait, it's personal skeletons that hit her hardest. Stumbling upon old photos of herself, back when she was battling with weight, sends her spiraling into a panic attack. A quick jab of a mysterious drug, and voila, crisis averted. Or is it? Fuming over Quay's glossy new commercial, our dear Lilo, in a fit of rage, concocts a cutthroat plot against Quay's flawless visage. And just like that, the scene cuts to a TV studio where Lilo is all smiles for the cameras. Behind those smiles, a tempest brews. And that, my friends, is a recipe for drama with a capital D. Imagine this, our star injects herself with another sedative in the loo, right as the shoot ramps up. Next thing you know, she's hallucinating like a champ in front of a live crowd. In her delirium, she goes medieval on a cake and battles the studio decor that has suddenly sprung to life. Meanwhile, in a plot twist, Had's hot pursuit leads her and Quay to an amusement park. There's a dramatic face-off, knife in hand. But here's the kicker, Quay hits her with the Zen bomb, saying, all models fade into oblivion, one after another. Whoa, right? Had's left utterly GOBS macked and ditches her dark plan. Back to the chaos, Lilio finds out Had's mission flopped and, she unleashes fury on her. Distraught, Had bolts out into a torrential downpour, plops down on the curb, trying to gather her wits. In her frazzled state, her pills hit the pavement. Yep, she still pops them. The puddle Lilo continues to hallucinate intensely as she sits there reminiscing about her early days as a model back inside the apartment Had finds the evidence file containing Lilo's secrets and those of the beauty clinic she decides to mail them and soon the news spreads like wildfire the media begins to troll Lilo for her extensive plastic surgeries while the bruises on her skin worsens every day meanwhile Mr. A is suspended from the case due to allegations of leaking sensitive information about Lilo and the beauty clinic a few days later Lilo faces a crowd of journalists to address the recent events the air is filled with the constant clicking of cameras but everything goes silent as Lilio stands up to everyone's horror Lilio pulls out a knife and stabs herself in the eye she leaves the audience shocked by ending her troubled life in a dramatic manner. In a jaw-dropping moment of sheer drama, journalists snap away as Lilio dramatically collapses. After the tragic scene, all of Lilio's pals are swept up in a whirlwind of interrogations. Meanwhile, the rumor mill goes wild with fans convinced Lilio's pulling a fast one with a fake death. Fast forward a few months, Mr. Oa and crew are out and about when a mysterious bombshell slips him her digits. Plot twist, it's Shikaku, Lilio's sister, sporting a fresh face lip. Mr. Oa drops another bomb. Over 150 patients got more than they bargained for at that clinic, leading to nine tragic ends and one vanishing act. None other than Lilio herself. As they stroll, a flashy ad teases a book release. The Legend of Lilo, ensuring Lilo's wild escapades will keep us chatting for ages.